it's Katrina! From gifts from Aztec gods to reincarnations of the Dalai Lama, here are 10 of the most ancient dog breeds that are still with us today. Number 10. Chinese Sharpei the Chinese Sharpei are thought to have originated in Thailand, China, and are easily recognized by their deep-set wrinkles and bluish-black tongue. They were named in 1978 as one of the world's rarest dog species by Time magazine, and while the American Kennel Club only recognized them as their 134th confirmed breed in 1992, they are thought to be one of the oldest breeds in the world. The first known records of Sharpei have been found among artifacts that date back to the Han Dynasty period, about 220 BC, with tomb statues and clay figurines that resemble them very closely. Very little is known about China's history with the Sharpei from that time, but a 13th century Chinese manuscript was recently uncovered which also mentions the Sharpei. They were a popular breed in the region through the 18th century, but their numbers dropped in the 20th century when people chose more ferocious dogs that were being imported from the rest of the world. Nowadays, they are making a comeback, but as is the case with many breeds of dogs, they have been bred to exaggerate their features to make them more appealing. The extremely wrinkly, wide-headed, and deep-set eye types that you may see today are a far cry from the lean, small, wrinkled Sharpies that were popular in China, but it has been a couple of thousand years. Number 9. The Basenji With the name meaning dog of the bush, the first mention of Basenjis by European travelers came in 1895 where they were found being used by locals in the Congo. They were prized for their intellect, speed, bravery, and silence, and even had to wear bells so their owners knew where they were in the dense jungle, otherwise they could just sneak up on you. Evidence suggests though that the breed has existed alongside humans for far longer than this, with carvings found in Egyptian tombs depicting dogs with very similar features. Basenjis are very energetic dogs and are one of the smallest breeds of hounds weighing about 24 pounds when fully grown. They have excellent eyesight and a strong sense of smell and have large ears that stand on end when alert. They are very protective with their family, but not so much towards strangers, and are often referred to as being cat-like because of their fondness of climbing to high places and self-grooming. Number 8. Lhasa Apso Lhasa Apsos originated in Tibet and are named after Lhasa, the Tibetan capital city and, unsurprisingly, their word for bearded. They weigh at most 14 pounds and have very distinctive coats that only fully form in adulthood. My parents had one and they loved it, although it was very independent. They are thought to have been domesticated as a pet as long ago as 800 BC, which makes it one of the oldest recognized breeds in the world, meaning it has strong genetic links with the ancestral wolf, and were used in Tibet as companions for monks in Buddhist monasteries, and acted as sentinels that would alert the monks to any intruders. You could only receive one as a gift, and they were very closely tied with religion. It was believed that their bodies could be inhabited by the souls of lamas, the Tibetan spiritual master, while they awaited their rebirth. The first pair of Lhasa Apsos arrived in the U.S. as a gift from Tubten Gyatso, the 13th Dalai Lama, to an American explorer who was the first Christian to enter the Tibetan holy city in 1933. And now for number 7, but first, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to join our notification squad. Number 7. The Afghan Hound Afghan hounds come from the cold mountains of Afghanistan and have developed their signature thick flowing coats as a result. Their isolation in the mountains and use by humans as shepherding and hunting dogs has meant that they have a high breed purity because there wasn't much of an opportunity for them to encounter other types of dog. It used to be completely prohibited to export the hounds from their home country where they have been living with humans for a very long time. They are depicted in cave paintings in the mountains that have been dated back to more than 4,000 years ago, and they can also be seen in some examples of Egyptian papyrus. Afghan hounds typically grow to weigh up to 64 pounds and come in a wide range of colors. They are notoriously slow to train though, so if you've fallen in love with their long flowing hair, you'll need to be very patient if you're going to get one. Number 6. The Chow Chow Despite their cute appearance, Chow Chows have been used as working dogs for a long time. It's known that they existed in China 2,000 years ago, and they were described as heavily built dogs with harsh coats, straight hind legs, and blue tongues. Some theories think they arrived in China long before then, along with the Mongols when they invaded the region 3,000 years ago. They have been found represented in pottery and sculptures of the Han Dynasty, similar to the Sharpei, and were also a popular breed in Tibet. 
Long thought of as a hunting dog because of their ability to track larger animals like wolves and leopards, they were also used to pull sleds and to guard livestock. Chow Chows were also bred for their fur, and their meat is still considered a delicacy in some parts of China to this day. They first made their way over to Europe in the 1800s on clipper ships, and Queen Victoria was given one as a gift, reportedly taking it with her wherever she went. They then made the transition across the Atlantic to America, with the American Kennel Club registering approximately 10,000 new puppies every year. Number 5. The Akita Inu The Akita Inu originates from the mountainous regions of Japan. There are actually two forms of the breed, the Inu that is a Japanese strain and the American Akita. Japanese Akitas only come in a narrow range of colors and have a short double coat, but American Akitas come in all varieties. They are powerful dogs, which is why they have been a popular animal for Japanese people over generations. Early records from about 900 years ago show how they were highly prized as hunting and fighting dogs, as well as sources of nutrition, often regarded as good eating. There was a time in Japanese history where only a ruler was allowed to own an Akita, and they would wear a collar that represented their owner's rank. Their popularity has risen and fallen over the years, but at the beginning of the 20th century they became prized around the world as a result of Emperor Taisho's fondness of them. Today you'll find them all over where they are valued for their loyalty, power, and independence. The AKC do not recommend this breed for first-time owners as they can be quite temperamental and very dominant. Number 4. Sholo Eats Queen Lee also known as the Mexican hairless dog, which is also much easier to say, is one of the few breeds of hairless dog. The name is a combination of Xolot, the Aztec god, and Itzcuintli, the Aztec word for dog. The fact that the Aztecs named this breed gives an idea to quite how old the breed is, with some estimates suggesting it's well over 3,500 years old. It is thought that they were brought over to the Americas from the Asian continents and became valued parts of the societies that made the countries their homes until the Europeans arrived. They are extremely easygoing and comforting dogs and those who chose one as their companion were said to bring upon themselves the favor of the gods. Their remains have been found in burial chambers from the Aztec times where they were often sacrificed alongside their owners to assist them with their travels to the underworld. They were mentioned in Columbus's earliest journals of his findings when he set foot in the Americas before taking specimens back to Europe with him where he knew people would be amazed by their hairless appearance. Today, Cholos are still tightly linked with Mexico and it is the official national dog of the country. It's quite uncommon to see them in the US or Europe though, so you should feel honored if you see one. Number 3. The Pekingese Thought to date back more than 2,000 years. Their manes and similarities to lions led to them being referred to as lion dogs, and they held royal status with the ancient dynasties. For a long time, only members of the Chinese imperial palace were allowed to own them. Eventually, other rich members of society were allowed to have them, and they were a favorite choice of monks who wanted companionship in the temples. They were taken to Europe in 1860 during the Second Opium War when five of them were stolen from a palace and Empress Dowager Sixi gave one to several important American figures, including Theodore Roosevelt's daughter. They were first recognized by the AKC in 1906, but it was only during the economic boom in the U.S. following the Second World War that large numbers were bred and they became increasingly in demand. Of the 178 purebred dogs, according to the AKC, Pekingese are the 80th most popular. Number 2. Saluki Saluki are also known as the Persian Greyhound and originally came from around the Nile Valley in an area known as the Cradle of Civilization, where human civilization is thought to have emerged. Having come from such an area, it's perhaps no surprise that they're thought to be one of the oldest dogs still present on Earth. There are pottery specimens decorated with dogs thought to be Saluki or their ancestors from Mesopotamia dated at over 6,000 years old. They were depicted on Egyptian tombs from the Middle Kingdom onwards, about 2000 BC, and became increasingly popular in Egyptian art. Thought of as the royal dog of Egypt, mummified remains of Saluki were found in the tombs of some pharaohs. It wasn't just the Egyptians who revered them for their hunting abilities, with records from Greece, Persia, and the Middle East depicting their importance. Their name comes from the long-lost Arab city of Seleucia, and today, these elegant hounds are a popular pet and star attraction at any show they go to. Number 1. The Siberian Husky The Siberian Husky might just be the oldest dog breed in the world. While they are commonly bred across cold regions, they have been traced back to Zokhov Island in Siberia. 
Here, evidence of domesticated dogs over 9,000 years old have been found, where they would have been used as hunting and sled dogs. This was an important way of survival back then in the harsh weather conditions of the region, and the dogs would have been an invaluable tool. The breeds used back then had the same traits as the Siberian Husky, and while it is a modern-day version of what was present back then, it is very closely related to them. They are thought to have been developed by the Chukchi people of Siberia, who brought them to Alaska in 1908 for sled dog racing, which is when the world first became aware of them. They were known as Chukchis, but because of their ability at racing, they were taken to the U.S. where they were renamed as Siberian Huskies. Nowadays, their appealing looks, affection, and loyalty have made them an extremely popular breed, and amazingly, they haven't changed much over the years. Thanks for watching! Do you have any of these dogs? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!